This report is from today's CNBC Daily Open, our international markets newsletter. CNBC Daily Open brings investors up to speed on everything they need to know, no matter where they are. Like what you see, you can subscribe here. Asia Mixed Asia markets were mostly higher Friday as investors weighed China property price data. The CSI 300 index ended up extending its winning streak for nine days in a row. Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index fell. Japan markets were closed for the Emperor's birthday holiday. Overnight, the S&P 500 soared to new highs fueled by Nvidia's blockbuster earnings, notching its best day since January 2023. The Nasdaq Composite rose nearly 3%, while the Dow jumped 1.18%, closing above the 39,000 level for the first time ever. Grab's profitable quarter ride hailing giant Grab posted its first ever profitable quarter and revealed a $500 million share buyback. We exited 2023 with mobility exceeding pre-COVID levels. We are seeing a very strong demand in the mobility space, Grab CFO Peter Oe told CNBC adding that tourism is growing very much. Reddit files for IPO social media firm Reddit filed its IPO prospectus with the Securities and Exchange Commission on Thursday. Its market debut would mark the first major tech initial public offering of the year. The company plans to trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol RDDT. AI to the defense artificial intelligence can, disproportionately, help defend against cybersecurity threats, said Google CEO Sundar Pichai. Cyberattacks cost the global economy an estimated $8 trillion in 2023. That is set to rise to $10.5 trillion by 2025, said research firm Cybersecurity Ventures. Pro. 7 Samurai, with Japanese markets enjoying a bull run. Goldman Sachs has named 7 Samurai stocks in the country, which it highlighted could be to equivalent to the U.S.'s Magnificent Seven. The U.S. economy appears to be humming along, at least for now. A key gauge showed cost pressures for manufacturers and service businesses eased again February. An early read of S&P Global's composite index of purchase managers fell slightly to 51.4, albeit at a softer pace than in January. Service sector growth cooled slightly but manufacturing staged a solid return to growth, with factory output growing at the fastest rate for 10 months. It is welcome news that both manufacturing and services are expanding again for the first time in three months, said Chris Williamson, chief business economist at S&P Global, adding the expansion is being accompanied by subdued price pressures. The latest data indicates the economy continue to expand midway through the first quarter, pointing to annualized GDP growth in the region of 2%, Williamson further noted. While there is reason for optimism, things could still go wrong as noted by Fed Vice Chair Philip Jefferson on Thursday. Looking ahead, I see at least three key risks, Jefferson said.